Hello WWE Universe and welcome to this channel your one-stop shop for all things professional wrestling today we are diving deep into one of the most controversial outcomes from survival series war games since Shuki Nakamura's clean victory over LA Knight to claim the United States Championship Many fans were shocked by the result, especially with LNITs being one of the most popular superstars in WWE right now. But as always in the world of sports entertainment, every decision has a purpose. Over the next hour, we are breaking down the why behind this booking decision, analyzing the match itself and discussing what this means for both superstars going forward. So back up and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more WWE Universe. Let's start by taking a close look at the match itself. Nakamura came into this bout with a clear game plan. Right from the opening bell, he targeted Knight's leg and me mid-section focusing on wearing him down and while LA Knight had moments of brilliance it was clear that something wasn't right Nakamura controlled the pace utilizing his strong styles of fence Knight's counters were few and far between with the commentary team noting his lack of energy and sharpness Nakamura's brutal strikes in the corner were far. What stood out the most was now decisive. The victory was Nakamura pinned night clean. No destruction, no interference. This wasn't a frog. WWE made a statement with this result and it is time we unpack why. Our first reason. Nakamura needed this win. Let's face it. WWE has had trouble capitalizing on Shinsuke Nakamura's potential in the recent years. Once one of the most hyped acquisition from NJPW, Nakamura had faded in the background. He hadn't held a major singles title since 2019. His matches, while always entertaining, lacked meaningful stakes. This loss, was, this loss wasn't about diminishing LA Knight, it was about reviving Nakamura's relevance. WWE has clearly invested in this new version of Nakamura. He debuted a fresh look. His new theme a music adds intensity to his pros, pros, persona. He's been hooked. He's been booked dominantly since returning, including a quick win over Andrade just days before Survival Series. By defeating El Knight, Nakamura has positioned himself as a credible champion once again. Think about it. Who better to beat the, than one WWE's most popular stars? A victory like this re-establishes Nakamura as a serious threat. Let me know in the comments, do you think Nakamura's win was the right call? Or should we, should WWE have protected Knight more? I'll be reading some of your thoughts later in the show. Next, let's talk about LA Knight. One theory floating around is that WWE booked this loss to give Knight some much needed time off. Now let's consider a few things. Aero Knight has been wrestling almost non-stop since winning the United States Championship. Unlike many superstars, uh, many top stars like Roman Reigns or Seth Rollins, um, he hasn't taken extended breaks to recharge. Survival Series commentary hinted at Knight not being at 100% with Mike Cole and Corey Graves repeated mentioning that he, he didn't look like himself. But if this wasn't just a storytelling, could this loss be a way to give Knight a short uh, haters before the road to Shomania? In the theory hold, holds true, it is actually smart move. Wrestlers returning after short breaks often come back refreshed. 
be energized and more popular than ever. Imagine the pop if LA Knight enters the Royal Rumble as a surprise participant after the weeks of of course, this raises the question, what next for Knight when he comes back? Will he aim to reclaim the United States Championship or is there a bigger prize in the future? We are halfway through the breakdown. If you are enjoying this discussion, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more WWE analysis. And hey, tell me in the comments what your favorite LA Knight match at, uh, of 2024. I'd love to hear your picks. Finally, let's address the most exciting possible. WWE may have taken the United States Championship of LA Knight because they have bigger plans for him. One, the United States Championship is a mid-card title. If WWE wants to elevate Knight, they need to, him to free of that belt. By losing clean to Nakamura, Knight puts over another star while moving up the card himself. With WrestleMania season around the corner, the, there is no better time for WWE to position Knight as a contender of the world title. Remember what happened with Gunther. He dropped the Inter Intercontinental Championship, took a short break, and then returned to challenge the World Heavyweight Championship. Could WWE be planning something similar to, uh, uh, for Knight? It is also worth considering his next alignment. After such clean loss, could Knight be heading toward a heel turn? Or will WWE double down on his baby face momentum and have him go after a bigger heel like Gunther or Damian Priest? Either way, the possibilities are endless. To recap, here are the three reasons why Nakamura defeated LA Knight. One, Nakamura needed major win to rebuild his credibility. Two, LA Knight. Um, two, L a night himself. You see, um, we are re 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 recapping up um, these uh, three reasons. L a night may be taking a short break to recover and fresh. Three, WWE could be settling night up for a bigger push heading into WrestleMania season. What do you think? Did WWE make a tie a right call? with this booking and where do you see LA Knight and Nakamura heading in the next few months? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's get discussed. Thank you for watching this channel. Make sure to subscribe for more WWE content and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates on WWE.